Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with only rookies and it is time for Operation Golden Grin. I got a golden grin on my face when thinking about just shooting a Lord of uh, Loss, a Horde of Loss. So we bring Diva, Sane, Sonar and Roby. Not 100% sure if we need as many blue screen rounds. I think we're just going with tail and rounds here. Um, and uh, using our other ammunition, a little bit of uh, grenades, and of course, good old Mimic Beacon if needed. We got Roby and Diva um, to kind of upgrade their bond and equally sane and sonar. So, the idea is to flawless that mission and hopefully get everybody have uh, upgraded with their bond that would be awesome let's go guys let's go and guess what we are landing again we got the big fat port here and we will need to get to that shutdown uh, to that uh, to that facility right over there before it shuts down I'm still not 100% convinced that we're only fighting against the Lost. Hard to believe. On the move. What I know though is we gotta move and we gotta move fast. Moving out. Location confirmed. All right, we're literally charging. Thanks to our lightning movement in the first uh, two rounds, we're getting plus three uh, on movement. Lightning strike, it is called, as a resistance order. So this balcony here is fantastic. Yeah, we can already see the lost thing there. And somewhere down there. Okay, good. Got it, moving. <sighs> Too bad. Well, so much for stealthing our way in. Eva. Eva moves all the way up there. Roby teamworks for him. Just to make it easier, and uh, Divat blocks the ladder, Roby blocks the other ladder, and we're good to go. Good, we gotta still work with the network to prevent a shutdown, but for now we're, we're pretty damn uh, good positioned. All right, Roby. Starts to clean a little bit. Thankfully, since we're dealing six to eight points of damage, all of this here is a one shot. Big fat reload, round number two. Let's go. Very nice. And look, we're just going to reload yet again. Sane on the other end. It's going to be the one who's 
gonna go in and we'll be hacking. More losses are arriving and more losses are moving in into our direction, but that's okay. Beaver continues to re. Okay, Beaver obsessively reloads. We just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Okay, so if we were to move to here, currently that will give us some visibility against the guys downstairs. Good. Sane here in the meantime. It's just cleaning all of the remaining losts. Reload. It's going to be a slaughter fest. And Eva is overwatching. Yeah, we're continuous, uh, continuing to aggressively move forward. Down. We got a super solid position, so I feel comfortable that everything's going to be all right. Despite the 96% miss right there. Moving over. Sona takes uh, the spot right there. Good. Keep him coming. Sane continues with effectively killing the remaining two here. And leave it as overwatching. Sane is overwatching. Next turn we can start moving a bit further. But of course another swarm appears. More loss spec here. I think we're still fine, but yes, we're going to. This is going to be a massive, massive undertaking to shoot through all of them. They just keep on coming. Good, Roby will soon move all the way up here to support a bit more. Let's get a couple of the dashers down. Luckily we got the high ground compared to them. Good, so if we're just moving up all the way to here, on 
That should give us a pretty solid chance of killing all of them. Problem is, if they are just continuing to come closer and closer, it's very difficult to really run into them. Okay, so moving further, we're still on the way to hack this. Good copy. Moving on target. And Eva is overwatching. On Overwatch. All right, more enemies are incoming. They're really making sure that there are enough loss. Of course, this whole mission would be trivialized with um, larger magazine sizes and between the eyes. And of course, better to hit chances. But for rookies, they still continue to be surprisingly challenging. You never really have 100% chance. Well, Unless, of course, you're Roby. Target neutralized. Need to reload soon. Hostile neutralized. I'm ready. I need ammo. Okay. All right, moving up. That's one down. Confirmation. Area secured. Moving. That's two down. And this is burning, which means we might lose uh, the mission if we're not hacking this turn. I've seen that happening. That unfortunately the documents just start to burn. Okay. All hostels are down and the area is well, secure. that was a slaughter fest, just like uh, we thought it would be. But that's an awesome side trip. I'll take any uh, any advantage that the game is offering me. No regrets there. Okay, so. Let's see, we got four promotions. Let's hope that our bonds can actually be improved 122 intel that's the important part training center oh yes level two bonds fantastic good i think we wanted to purchase Elarium, if I'm not mistaken, because we needed 40 in order to then start researching Elarium. There we go, Elarium crystals, thank you. Anything else? An engineer wouldn't be bad. Unfortunately, can't use that. And the only thing that I would buy here would be scopes in any shape or form, because they would be a real benefit to us. Make contact. Commander, we've utilized all of our available yes, please. Capacity. And we're now Southern moving to Continent Southern Continent America Continent. because here the uh, continent bonus is going to allow us to do instant contact. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Aye. This will allow us now to build sh a shadow chamber. Not too bad. And we get the loss for free immediately. So that's the lure if we need it. Three days for more intel. Is it worth it? Look, I don't know. 
I mean, free research is oftentimes worth it, right? At the same time, Hilarium is super helpful. Let's do that real quick. New objectives added. Having developed a greater understanding of the alien's encryption method, we can now construct Good. Silo, 250 supplies. We're actually good, but we need the supplies. So how do we get that many supplies? 250. I can tell you how. We're just collecting our supplies. Duh. Should have done that before. That way we can start uh, the Psy Chamber and start the training, which will be super helpful. Got an exosuit. Our soldiers took some hits during the most recent covert. Fantastic. Got another scientist. That's another 10% research speed increase. Can't do anything here. And now plus one hit point. I think in absence of Roby not being here. Let's just put Sane in here. And another rookie. This is a decent order for us. Although I hate admitting that we're uh, that we're regularly losing uh, XCOM agents, but it allows us to stay and fight after we lost someone. 250, I think that's enough to build already. Yes, insufficient power though. Which means, like it or not, we need more power, and that again means we can build a Psy lab right here. We're still clearing the alien debris. Let's free up an engineer here and speed up the building process because we really need that Psy lab. Because then we're slowly starting uh, to train uh, the psi operatives and that all just takes so much time before we even get the uh, the next squad upgrade we completed our research in remarkable time commander fantastic 122 intel that's really 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 good we don't need pistols because unfortunately we can't use side arms could use a facility lead though And with the decision to go for the Psy lab, I spent too much Hilarium. <laughs> Missing one Hilarium. This is hilarious. So this is now going to slow us down even more. I think we're going for a facility lead just in case. Good. We got enough supplies for now. I have often wondered why the elders would entrust their Unfortunately, it's so one Elarium is missing. So by our we definitely need some more Elarium. Next month, we can hopefully purchase more. We got enough intel to do that. Seven more days. Our research was a success, Commander. Good. The facility in West Africa is unlocked, which isn't bad. Viper Corpse is okay for the upgrade. Turret Breakdown isn't bad as well, but currently we don't need it. Experimental Weapons 
the only thing that we would need is the bolt caster and that's not really that great although it can be good against uh, against the alien rulers and there is one in each of the facilities the bolt cast has a chance to at least stun them frost grenade isn't bad either cool more intel that's exactly what we would like to do training center can't get uh, the other bond upgraded for now but that's okay that is okay I think we're overall fine. We got one heavy armor, so that'll help us uh, with shredding. Let's see how how well that is going to work. And we do have a bigger explosion with the rocket. So that's not bad. I think uh, that was a pretty decent investment. Of course, it costed us Elarium, which in hindsight, yeah. It's a bit of a bummer. But yeah, we could theoretically go for another one. But I would rather like to upgrade all of the weapons and all of the armor next. We're wasting a bit of time uh, by dabbling, uh, by, by slightly being limited. Then I squeezed in the Psylab because I want uh, the squad size upgrade. And I think it's the right decision, but it of course um, also stops our advancement with plasma weapons soon we can purchase more larium so that'll be fine but it all takes a bit more time anyways thanks for watching guys i appreciate uh, that uh, we are going through a harsh time here with the rookie run but it worked out surprisingly well at the moment things are stable let's see if we can keep it that way thanks for watching leave a comment and a like down below and see you in two days bye bye